a bid to knock Turkey out of the war. The Allies landed on the Gallipoli Peninsula in April 1915. The Gurk Museum in Winchester, the only one of its kind in the country, has plans to redevelop. The site tells the story of Nepalese soldiers recruited for the British military, and houses some of their oldest artefacts. The museum is not just special for its uniqueness though, as it covers a part of history still writing itself today. Gurkhas have served this country very loyally um, and with considerable sacrifice for more than 200 years uh, and they continue to serve today. Just about every role in the British Army has a Gurkha element to it so they're a very very fundamentally important part. Upon opening to the public in the 90s the museum was state-of-the-art with multimedia interactive displays and lifelike immersive exhibits. 30 years on however it plans to redevelop in order to showcase the modern history of the Gurkhas. When we do re redevelop the museum in the near future, uh, we will be uh, doing our, our very best to ensure that not only our new and amazing objects on display, but that the way we tell stories is up to date, the way we interact with those who come to our museum is up to date. I think it's fair to say that when this museum opened, it was the cutting edge of military museums, if not museums in general. What people expect of a museum in terms of the standard of its presentation and the way it tells its stories is different. The brigade has changed, the army's changed, Nepal's changed. We've got to change the museum uh, to reflect those different voices and to bring it up to date. The museum has begun its fundraising now and hopes to see the work completed in 2024. Tom Hooker, Winchester News Online. Their aim was to steal the